Personally, for me, I think some of uh, my favorite work, at least with you, obviously, um, seeing you on, on This Is It, um, as well as, um, you know, Future Sex Love Show. Um, talk just about Future Sex Love Show and just working with Justin. And, yeah. Um, uh, obviously. Uh, yeah, I, I think some people get it confused because me and Kenny and Nick Bass are all so tightly knit together. Right, but right. I actually didn't dance with Justin on Future Sex Love Show. I had to choreograph. But um, okay. some, people, some awesome. people think I work for him. I, I got to choreograph Crime River. Um, coolest job of my life. Honestly, the reason I moved to L.A., something I forgot to mention, yeah, Michael Jackson, that was inspired. The first hip hop show I ever saw, but when I saw my first NSYNC concert and I saw Justin Timberlake, that was the moment when I was like, I'm moving to LA. Literally, the, that was no the strings? moment. Or no, no strings attached, yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's it, man, that's what I want to do. So, um, packed up my bags within a few months and moved to LA. Uh, Justin Timberlake's a huge inspiration for me. Didn't know if I wanted to be him, if I wanted to dance behind him, if I wanted to be a singer, or just what he, the energy he had on stage and, and um, yeah, it was just incredible. So big inspiration. So getting to work with him was a dream come true for me. Getting to choreograph um, was also a dream come true. It's a dream I never even knew I had. But um, I got to do it at an early age. And actually now it's kind of funny. Nine years later, I'm actually about to do the BMAs with him next week. Um, that'll be the first time I'm actually dancing with him. So I'm fucking pumped. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Michael, that's the pinnacle of my career. That was, honestly, that is the, the dream job of my life. That is... That is job. That's the. <laughs> that's yeah. a dream. That's just my dream, man. Right. Just to even be able to meet him or, or share anything with him, and I got to share the stage with him and, and share that experience with him. And it's sort of a rocky roller coaster emotionally to think about, but I still got. I got something. And I got something that I'll, I'll never be able to forget, and that no one will ever be able to take away from me. So it's kind of crazy to, to think about everything that's come, that's happened with it. But then again, it's like one of my happiest memories. So. Was there anything um, just behind the scenes? Obviously, you had a great interaction with him. Was there any uh, advice that he ever? I'm sure he gave advice on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah. But there was a moment um, at the end when they show like Billy Jean and stuff, and uh, and Man in the Mirror. You know, like you guys were. It's just such a yeah, emotional like, moment. Watching the shows. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Like, in between but, breaks, we'd go sit down and just watch it. You know. Right. <laughs> Um, the advice that he gave us, something I'll never forget, one of our first times um, doing the show for him, you know, we learned the show and then we integrated him into it slowly. So his first time watching the show up on its feet without him, he, we, you know, we're breaking our backs, killing ourselves to do it. And at the end, he goes, sit down, come, came over to us and he said, you guys already booked the job. <laughs> like, you don't need to kill yourselves. He goes, take it easy and pace yourself, save your bodies for the show. And to hear that from your boss, like you're, you're you're trying to prove to yourself that you right. do the job, and he's it's like, Michael. "Don't worry, I got like I trust you, basically." Yes. But Michael Jackson, coolest thing I've ever heard. I've been on jobs with artists who can't even come close to what Michael does, and you're scared for your job yeah. because of their insecurity. So it was like someone that secure in themselves to be able to say that to you. It's like he's the real deal, man. It just reminds me of why. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, so what do you have coming up, man? Um, yeah, what I've come up, like I said, I'm doing the VMAs with Justin next week, which is like, a, again, it's something, I thought that ship had sailed, and I'm sort of stepped out of the dancing world a little bit, but now I'm getting a chance to put my shoes back on and go, you know, go perform with the reason, the artist that was the reason I, I moved out in the first place, so I'm pumped about that. Um, and then I'm doing Step Up 5, Eddie Returns, so I'm shooting that in a couple weeks in Vancouver, and then we'll see. A trip to Europe, I know that. I always go to Europe and teach, so I'll probably head there soon. Definitely a shout out to Step by Step.